The ultimate controller for creators, Neo Torbox. Torbox? Towerbox? Uh, so they sent me this thing called the Torbox, and it's supposed to help me with uh, Lightroom, with Photoshop, with Premiere. I don't use Lightroom right now, so we're probably going to be using it uh, with Photoshop. And we're going to see if that thing can actually help me with my Photoshop workflow. So this is what the box looks like. If I turn it around, uh, nothing too special. Let's open it up. Okay, and in here we have what is called the quick start guide. I definitely need to read this. I have a habit of not reading stuff because I'm like, oh, I want to see how intuitive it is. And then, and then I get lost and I'm completely lost using it. Okay, this is fancy. I love this. All right, just little plastic separator. That's cool. <laughs> I love companies that send stuff that are in their little baggies. If you're moving, you know, if you're on the move and you, you know, you're a professional Photoshopper. Photoshopper, is that what you call it? That's it. That's it. That's all we have. So. I believe it is the tour box and then this is probably the cable all right let's make sure oh it is the cable look at that um threaded 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 cable i don't know how you call those but the fancy ones the ones that don't break and then we'll have the actual tour box you open it Ooh, it's heavy by the way like it's it's not heavy heavy but that's like 200 maybe 300 grams I can feel this. Ooh, that matte black though. Ooh, okay, that, talking about thumbnails, this should be my thumbnail right there. Come on. Ooh, a thumbnail shot though. Okay, I can already see there's a spot for a little LED here. And um, oh, that feels, uh, yeah, that feels nice. That feels nice. It's not super smooth, but for like Photoshop and stuff, this is great. Oh, okay that's like the mouse rolling okay that's pretty smooth <laughs> that feels like actual mouse oh that is satisfying can you hear that i want a keyboard with whatever switch is in there i want a keyboard with it oh my god all right okay <laughs> this is the smooth one. Ooh, yes okay cool no all the buttons feel it feels like a mechanical keyboard, but with like tiny switches where there's not a lot of travel, right? Oh, that all felt. Listen, listen. Oh, this one is. You can actually press this one too. All right, this one is less less impressive. This is normal switch, normal plastic switch. <laughs> Anyways, let's plug it in and see uh, what's up while I read the starting starting guide, quick start guide. Right, so I'm plugging it. So it's USB-C to USB. The cable is decently long. I'm with, I believe that is probably one meter and a half, maybe two meters. No, one meter and a half for sure. Okay, my window's already reacted. So probably it's gonna install the drivers automatically, maybe. And uh, the LED is shining green right now. See this? At the back, there's four little rubber pads. So that's, that thing is probably not going anywhere, but it feels great to the touch. It feels like it feels pretty heavy. So we have to go to tourboxtech.com in order to download the, the driver or like the, the software that comes with it. Nice, let's go to download software. Ooh, there are presets. They have a whole presets thing. That's cool. All right, download Windows. Yeah, let's just click download Windows. I'm thirsty. 70 megs, my, my internet is probably going to take a while. Print folder, boom, boom. And uh, console setup, extract all. Let's pick somewhere to extract it and extract. Okay. And there's the setup. <laughs> okay, Windows protected. Windows didn't do anything. Don't say that Windows protected me. didn't. Click more info and then click run anyway. Next, I agree. Let's pick the right folder and install. All right, click to finish the setup. Boom. We're Gucci. If I go there, there's probably Torbox cons Tor console and uh, it's installed here too. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, Torbox is connecting. It's, I hope it's not called Tower Box because I've been calling it Torbox the whole time. Please upgrade. Okay, cool. Start setting up a device. Nice. All right, let's. LED is still green, but it's like dim. Oh, now it's bright. Press any key on your keyboard to wake up the Torbox console. When they say keyboard, do they, are they talking? Let me press the actual Torbox. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I press my actual keyboard then. Nice. All right. So um, let's see how intuitive this is. I'm the, I'm the intuitive guy. Okay. I am the intuitive guy. Yeah, although it's telling me. The follow column is uh, Torbox presets list. Preset list can have, can save, manage multiple pre 
blah blah blah. All right, turn off auto switch will require the preset manually. Okay, kind of like uh, an Elgato stream deck, I guess. I also own the loop deck, so I, I, I'm familiar with those things. Presets area, column area, function with the wheels, the button, or the combinations, blah blah. blah. Although this does remind me a little bit more of the um, of uh, the loop deck, whereas like it seems you know it's less, it's way more complicated than like you know the Elgato stream deck, which is like. Hey, here's your buttons, and on the right, we have all the functions that you can put. Anyways, this is the preset er settings area. Okay, I read that. Okay, next. This is the layout area. Okay, nice. While you're setting your buttons, you will find related positions and events in this area. This is really, really good. And then the HUD is a reminder of the D-pad can be set, be used to preview this. Oh, can this be on top of everything? HUD can be dragged to any position on the screen. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Although... If I set it at some point, you know, I'm a gamer, all right? I'm 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 used to using a D-pad. If I set something after using it for one day, I don't need to look at it anymore. So I'll probably not use this at some point. Okay? I Oh, when you hover over this, it highlights. Oh, the D-pad is that's what they meant. So it's transparent and it goes over other software too. Nice. Eraser tools, brush tools, stamp tools. That's cool. I love this. So far, so good. And also it comes with the presets just loaded so you can see what you're doing. Uh, Premiere is something that I really want to use. Um, although like uh, my stream deck is so, so dialed in that I wonder if I'm going to switch to the toolbox. Although like the knobs, the knobs is... Anything that has knobs has an advantage over a stream deck, but we'll see. Here in and out, razor tool, uh, mark in, mark out. Okay, those are things that I use. Well, except the clear one. Nice. Premiere color, if you're doing color correction, I'm guessing. Color matching, color correction, or color grading. Grading is the word I was looking for. All right, I like this. So on this side, there's that's a single button that we have on the side there. Oh, this just highlights. I, I thought I could click on them that would be cool hey tour box it would be so cool if i could also click on this this wasn't just a reminder of whatever is here if i could also click on this and then select you know two-way thing that would be amazing uh something that i realized with the dial is that i kind of need to press it in order to for it to be smooth otherwise there's a lot of resistance on mine at least or maybe i'm just not using it right but uh it's not smooth it's really not smooth uh, but when I press it though, it's easy for me to dial it in. All right, let's open up Photoshop. Uh, oh, look at that, it's a picture of my face. Let's open, I don't know, a new project. Let's pretend that we were making a thumbnail. Okay, I would select this. Okay, now let me test out the D-pad. So eraser tools, oh, it's just the eraser. Brush tools is just a brush tool. Stamp tool, healing tool. Okay, well, let's go back and see. Where's my alt? Am I on Photoshop? I am on Photoshop, okay scroll it's the zoom and fit on screen is press for the, for the scroll okay cool Ooh, press oh hello no that's a lie it doesn't fit the screen it seems to just press alt when i press it oh it's invalid that's weird all right then dial adjust selected parameter um what if i wanted to adjust the opacity top right here oh that works Oh my God. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's kind of amazing. I can adjust the opacity like that. Oh, that's cool. Let me control O and let's import a picture. Let's put this here. Okay. So if I wanted my brush tool, crap, what, which one was it again? Oh, it's on D pad. So brush tool is on the D pad. It's going to be right side here. And I want to take a sample. I would press the long one, the long button. And now I can paint like that. But if I want to play with the opacity right now, it's at 6%. I can, oh, no, I can scroll. Oh, oh it's that scrolling. Okay. Or if I want to, oh, if I press that scroll and then I turn, it doesn't work. I can only press it. So it's really a button. It's actually like, uh, I use two of my fingers on that scroll right there to make it smooth. It doesn't seem like it's meant to be that way. I don't know. It's not that smooth, but it's also, or maybe I need to just break it in. You know, I need to use it a little bit more for it to feel smooth, but uh, now hundred percent. So I'm with my mouse. Let's say that, you know, I'm a madman and I want to do this. Um, do I have a control Z already set up? 
of course you're supposed to you know you're supposed to customize it yourself you're not supposed to struggle that much with it but i like that what is this no way no way okay if you press stuff twice <gasps> undo redo if you press it twice no there's no way there's no way it does something different That's cool. Okay, that's <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, I love that. All right, I really love that. And if I want, ah, oh, that's so cool. That is so so cool. I love it. Oh, I was pressing the wrong one. <laughs> so if you click on the little arrow here, it's actually gonna show you more options that you have. So there's more options with the scroll too. Okay, there's combinations. Oh my god. So if you hold the big one plus the scroll wheel, you can switch layers. Okay, now we're talking about workflow. Instead of having to move your mouse here and click on that one, you can just hold this and scroll up. No? Oh, is it? No. This one is zoom. I hold this. Am I doing the wrong thing? Oh, it is scroll plus tall. But do I press it? How does that? Uh, that doesn't seem to work okay but hey we know it's possible double taps are possible combinations are possible next blend mode previous blend mode so it's the side plus the scroll the only the only thing that is that i don't like is the fact that i need to move around my left hand right which i use you know i move around my left hand no matter what happens but i would love something that's just adapted oh it does look at that top it is changing the blend mode Oh, but it's changing it on my brush right now. Okay, it's interesting. What if I go here and I click again? No. What if I pick the move tool? Okay, now it works. All right. Now I'm actually selecting the, the picture. All right. Okay, that's not bad. That's really not... <laughs> That is really not bad. I can definitely see myself using this in combination with my graphics tablet if I'm doing some really intense Photoshop session. I like it. And then you create, you can create your own profiles or you can download your own presets. I wanna go back to the website and see what they have as presets. Because technically, you know, those presets are just like shortcuts from the software and everything. <gasps> okay, they have After Effects. All right, that's cool. You have Chrome ones, DaVinci Resolve, okay, because you guys are going to complain about Adobe Premiere. I know you guys. I know, I know DaVinci Resolve users. I know how you, how you are. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose so many subscribers over this. All right. Um, and those are user made. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's nice. I like that. I really like that. Another thing that those types of shortcuts, macro keyboard stuff do is that, for example, I, I do stuff in VR sometimes, okay? Sometimes I do stuff in VR and, you know, using a keyboard is not as intuitive or mouse and keyboard is not, well, mouse is fine, but using a keyboard is not as intuitive as it is like when you can see your keyboard, okay? You have to use like a pass through or, or it's, sometimes it's annoying. Uh, I'd love to be able to use anything that is that I can just feel and I can tell which button is which by just feeling it. I love when I don't have to look at my hand in order to place in order to press something. And the tour box really makes sure that, you know, that's the whole purpose of them having so many different buttons. You can tell which one is which without looking. That is the major, major, major plus with this. Of course, the presets um, and, and everything that goes with it. The auto switch is really cool. Um, but yes, I think this is they very, very much banked onto the, um, hey, you don't need to look, just press. The, the tallest button is gonna be the knob. So put it for something important. Maybe, you know, you wanna scroll down your timeline. Maybe if it's OBS, you wanna turn down your desktop audio or something like that. I, I don't know if that works with OBS though. Um, I would have to try. If you want to see me try this with other software, just let me know in the comment section below. There will be a link for you if you want to get a tour box yourself. And uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Knowing that is, you know, it's all matte. Um, it's like, you know, pretty grippy. <laughs> uh, the, the shape is pretty, like, it's okay. If you have small hands, you might, that might not be comfortable, but I don't think you're supposed to hold it like that, you know? It's something where you are moving your hands, but you are moving your hands intuitively. All right, here comes that word again, intuitively. And then you have those here. I wish this was two buttons instead of one, but hey, you have multiple knobs, three in, well, three in total. 
and all the buttons. Oh, it's doing stuff to my OBS. All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just let me know what you think in the comments and if you would like to see more of it. And uh, I'll let you know. I'll definitely try to use it with Premiere and I'll let you know if it's, um, if it's advantageous or not and how it compares to the Stream Deck or the Loop Deck. Well, they're not really comparable because the buttons are completely different. The layout is different. I actually love the software. The software took me, you know, a couple seconds to figure it out. And that's pretty amazing. Uh, that That's like big points for them, okay? In the meantime, I gotta thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. If you wanna see more tech reviews, I have a whole channel where I actually review tech that I buy for myself. So, you know, if you wanna see more, more tech, not necessarily related to content creation and stuff like that, go subscribe to my tech channel. It's called Gail's Tech Review. You can just look it up or click the link, uh, the little blue thing, the little blue logo at the end of this video. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.